Good afternoon, Pokesports. It's your host, Mike, and I play with two Pokemon on the field. My friends, today we are playing with this team by Scott, aka Your Conscience, on the Discord. You can go and submit your teams over on our Discord, linked just down below. Uh, go and give us your rental code and your Poke Paste, and we might just use your team. This team, uh, I'll, you know what? I'll give, I'll give their words. Uh, their words. A Zoomerl team after the recent GC, GC3, in case you'd like to play it. That's me. Uh, it works with a Zoomerl, which puts in so much work. I had help from Clover Bells as well with some tweaks. Uh, you already know that Clover Bells is an amazing uh, team put together, team builder, as some might call it. Uh, and same with Your Conscience. This is not the first Your Conscience team that uh, I played on the channel. Uh, I love, love, love the combination of Chempow and Azumarill, which is why I want to bring this. Right now, we're seeing a ton of Fluttermane. Fluttermania is running wild. Um, and so having a Pokemon that can, one, reduce defense in Chempow's Sword of Ruin, and two, a Pokemon that can do just good damage with huge power Azumarill, with Terra Water, with Aqua Jet, sometimes even with Liquidation, it's a great, great combo. Um, Plus, there's also a spinner, which is great for uh, removing terrain. Sometimes that that comes up, sometimes not. We'll see if it does in this episode. Uh, Arcanine is just a great supportive Pokemon. This one, it, it, rather than debuffing the enemy side of the field, like the Gyarados counterpart that's kind of going around right now with Taunt and, and, uh, and Thunder Wave, uh, you've got an Arcanine with Howl, which buffs your side of the field. Okay, so Arcanine is kind of shifting away from that, like decide between me and Gyarados and more into a this is what I do. This is what Gyarados does. Uh, and then, of course, you got Fluttermane. This one is just single target. Uh, I don't quite know about Parish Song, and I'm going to I'm going to be really interested to see if I can use a Parish Song at all in the next in the coming games. But I feel like everyone's on such high alert for Fluttermane that maybe I won't even get a chance to use it. We'll see. And then, of course, Dragonite. This Dragonite has Facade, and again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use Facade in these games. I don't see a ton of status moves uh, hitting Dragonite recently, but I don't know. Maybe this, maybe today's the day. Anyway, join me now. Uh, we're going to go into the battle arena, go onto the dance floor, and see if we can pull out some wins. Let's go. And my first match, first match, is up against Samuel. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I mean by that sass in a second. But, uh, okay. A lot of things that are weak to fire and then the thermal exchange. Just trying to bring in that thermal exchange program. And you know what? I'm here for it. I think that Fluttermane runs all over this team. Maybe not on the Braviary. Is this what Kevin brought? Did Samuel bring what Kevin brought? Is this Kevin's team? I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, uh, I feel like Fluttermane is useful but I should probably bring the things that counter Fluttermane. First, the things that counter Fluttermane's counters. That's it. That being, I think, Arcanine for the Golden Go. And you know what? Chimpound doesn't seem so bad right now, actually. I don't hate that. I do not hate that. They might want to bring Abomasnow for the um, Max Scalibur, but I still have a... Uh, Ice Spinner, I still have a Flare Blitz for the Obama Snow. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then Fluttermane and Dragonite? Yeah. Yeah, we'll bring Dragonite. Dragonite does work here. <clears throat> Dragonite does a lot of work. Although your conscience says that this team does work, I have to agree. I do think that Dragonite in particular will put in a lot of work. Okay. Let me tell you a story, okay? I like to record videos. It's me. I do that. Yeah, I can just flare blitz that. That's fine. Uh, Chen Pao, though, that's a little spooky. No, it's not. I can just sucker punch it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I like to record videos. I tried to do one of those, and it, it was great. We won a bajillion times using this team. Uh, I tried to hit stop recording. My computer's like, nah, I don't want to stop recording. I want to keep going. And I said, okay. Uh, how do we, how do we, because now we're at an impasse where you want to keep going and I want to stop and edit. 
Um, and the computer just did not want to do it. Did not want to do it. Do I want to rationalize here? No, I don't. I just want to suck a punch. Did not want to do it. And so I said, all right, well, I'll take matters into my own hands and I uh, will, you know, oh, that's ground. Okay, cool. And I will just force the thing closed. I'll force the program closed and hopefully, and hopefully, I won't have caused any damage, any ir ir irreparable damage to the video. Uh, it turns out I had done all the irreparable damage to the video. The video just wouldn't stop. And when I stopped it, the file corrupted. So <laughs> yeah, entire, entire thing gone, just gone. So I had to do it again. This is me doing it again. That's OK. I don't mind doing it again. This is, it's a fun team, so. I enjoy it. Anyway, Aurora Veil's up, but like I feel like the damage has kind of already been done. Uh, can I extreme speed? I think if Flare Blitz did that much, the uh, extreme speed would do less. So I should Flare Blitz that. I could also Ice Spinner it. Oh, hold up. No. Just to find out what they'll do. I think the play right now is to protect, protect. Because this could be an easy switch in for the Skeledurge. And at the very least, I'm stalling out a turn of Aurora Veil. Vale. So this works out great. Anyway, this team, yeah, I won a bajillion times. Didn't lose even once. Maybe lost once. Doesn't matter. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. Everyone's just going for big earth powers. I don't have a better play than to just flare blitz and sucker punch again. Cause like I could ice spinner the Obama snow, but I don't need to do that. But then what would I, what would I do against the Skeledurge, right? What would Arcanine do? Nothing. It would do nothing. Anyway, that took out Skeledurge. And Flare Blitz will take out the Obama Snow. Really, though, like, terrestrializing the Obama Snow out of ice in the snow. Like, I feel like people, you know, aren't aren't thinking about the fact that, like, that you don't get your defense boost anymore. Like we learned this with Tyranitar, we're learning it again now with snow and ice. I I appreciate that people don't understand that yet, but anyway, Baxcalibur's here. Peter, the Baxcalibur's here. Speed went up. I don't. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of the speed going up. I'm just not. Uh, well, this is a turn after I attacked, so I need to protect. I should just protect. That's just the last two Pokemon on the team, so. Excalibur used Ice Shard. That is going to take out Chen Pao next turn, but I'm faster. Uh, Thunderbolt <clears throat> is an interesting move to use on Iron Valiant. How many turns are left on this stuff? Snow at least one, Aurora Veil at least one. So either you've got Light Clay or you've got, um, uh, the, the Snow, Snow Rock or whatever. Mm. I really would like to KO the Iron Valiant. And so I'm going to try and KO the Iron Valiant. I'm going to Sucker Punch it. Yeah, and I'm going to Extreme Speed it. Just do as much damage to it as possible so that next turn I can uh, Terra Extreme Speed. Chen Pao goes down, which is fine. I don't know if a Thunderbolt takes out my Arcanine. 
No. No, certainly doesn't. Yeah, so the snow stopped. I think I'm going to bring out... No, there's another two turns, right? Two turns on... I'd rather bring out the Dragonite, I guess. <clears throat> Just double extreme speed it. I thought about it and I changed my mind. I didn't change my mind. Ugh, I don't know what I want to do. I want to protect. I want to protect the Arcanine. And I'll Dragon Claw the Backscalibur. It's a tough choice to make because I am Choice Banded. The pain in my face is because I am Choice Banded. If I go for a Dragon Claw right now, then I can't attack the Iron Valiant next turn. Arcanine's not going to go down this turn, so if I really need to, I can swap out into Fluttermane. So this is actually a safe play. Well, like, I know that this Ice Shard's going to do a ton of damage. Oh, they just doubled in. That's so painful. That's so, so painful. I could have gotten some big damage off. Could have really done some big, big damage. Chose not to. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I mean, there's a chance, right? There's two turns left on Aurora Veil now. Mm. Well... I Flare Blitz this turn. I Protect this turn. I Terrasolize next turn. And I Attack. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's now officially Fluttermane. Oh gosh, it's Fluttermane in uh, going against Aurora Vale Backscalibur. That's. Uh, that's a little spooky. I'm gonna do my best. Here we go. It's either this or I protect and risk the risk the miss into the death. I don't think I can Oko backscale. I certainly can't Oko uh, within two turns because it can just Ice Shard next turn. All right, here we go. If they terrestrialize, then this might be bad for me. <laughs> I mean, it, it's probably going to be bad for me regardless. Here we go. There's a moon blast. Okay. All right. Hey, you know what? Unfounded skepticism. It, you know what? It still wins games sometimes, okay? Good game, Samuel. That was, that was a fun one. That was close. I feel like an ice shard probably could have done it. But, hey, you know what? That's the world we live in. Let's go into the next game. Let's go. All right, next up, we're going up against Kale. Kale's going to be bringing a lot of Palance, but not full Palance. It's a little bit of Palance. We've got Fluttermane, Palafin, Amoongus, and, and no, Chiyu isn't even part of it, is it? Um, but, you know, we have the strong core of Palafin and Amoongus, and I kind of feel like I want to counter that as best I can. I like Amoongus here, but I also don't like Amoongus here. They've got Chiyu. Uh, it scares me a bit. They've got Gyarados, which some are starting to go uh, Terra Flying, Terra Blast, which I do not want to get my Amoongus hit by. Uh, my Fluttermane is slower than their Fluttermane almost for sure. So if I bring Chen Pao, do I bring Dragonite? No, I think I actually bring the Azumarill. Azumarill does some work against a lot of that team. 
and Chen Pao does a lot of work against the Amunga, so I'm going to go with that. And then Arcanine for the Intimidate. And ah, I don't want to go with Fluttermane here, I don't think. Yeah, just because it doesn't have that much priority and there's some things that outspeed it. Uh, and there are some things that do have priority and the things that do have priority have big physical moves and they'll do big physical damage to my not physical Fluttermane. So. We go for it. <clears throat> They're going with Chiyu Fluttermane. That is the play. Certainly is the play. I could go for. Um, I could go for an Aqua Jet. I could go for a Sucker Punch. But honestly, I think just going for a Protect on Chen Pao is the safest thing that I can do this turn. Terastalizing, going for Liquidation on you or Fluttermane. Fluttermane, right? Yeah, next turn I can always go for the uh, Terra Water Liquidation on the Chi Yu. But I feel like, are they going to Terastalize it? Yeah, they're going to Terastalize it. Into fire. Okay. Mm. Make the heat waves do that much more, I suppose. I mean, much like me, I'm making my liquidation do that much more. Now, I would request, I'd like to put in a request to the devs that the Fluttermane does not hit protect right now. Chem Pao goes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And then miss the Azumarill? Nah, that's okay. I suppose you didn't need to do that. The energy ball is scary, but that was not used on the Pokemon that it could have been used on. If that energy ball was on Azumarill, it, this game would have been done. I'm pretty sure this game would have been done. I think you all know that. <laughs> Even though I do think that this Azumarill, yeah, this Azumarill does have, uh, what is that? Assault Vest. But <laughs> Assault Vest doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to live a super effective hit from a Fluttermane, but hey. Um, so here I think we can just go for a Soccer Punch and an Aqua Jet on the Chi Yu and, and just take it out. Just not have it play the game. I don't know what the Gyarados is going to go for here, but it, like it did intimidate. So that's that is one thing. Regardless, let's uh, just take out that Pokemon. No, thank you today. Glad that it didn't protect. Yeah. <laughs> They just snapped their switch in half. They picked up their switch. They were like, you know what? Just it's, it's, it's over. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, sometimes, you know what? A good lead can really uh, make a game, especially if you energy ball the wrong Pokemon. Uh, let's go into game three. All right. In this game, we've got Ndidi, a blast from the past. Ndidi and Hariyama. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, if they lead with Chi Yu and Fluttermane, unless the Fluttermane has an energy ball like the last one, if they end up using it on my Azumarill, uh, that will be the downfall of me. But let's just assume, let's just assume that this Fluttermane goes with what like 80% of Fluttermanes are going with, which is not energy ball. Mm. Um, because then my Chen Pao and Azumarill combo works just fine. We saw exactly how much damage a uh, Sucker Punch does after Intimidate. Oh, that was Intimidate, too. Uh, hmm. That's something to note. Anyway, uh, what are the other Pokemon going to be? I can bring in the Dragonite. I can just do pretty much the same. Uh, I see the Indeedee. Hold on, I see the Indeedee. There's a bunch of speedy Pokemon there, so I should probably go with things that can stay alive. That actually being Amoongus. 
Mm, okay. And then, yeah, one Fluttermane is probably going to be okay. Yeah. They see the Dragonite, so they're going to be bringing... They're going to bring the Ndidi. I'm pretty sure the Ndidi is tech against... Uh, against priority. So I'm just going to not entertain it. Bring in the heavy hitters that don't quite need it. Dragonite is one of those Pokemon that needs its priority. So yeah, there is the, there is the Induty, which means that I can't go for Sucker Punches. It means that I can't go for uh, Aqua Jets, but that's okay because I can go for Terra Water Liquidation. I could just go for Liquidation, just regular old Liquidation. I do think that I'm going to... No, I'm not going to tear it, Ghost. I'm going to Ice Spinner. Oh. Oh, wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm Ice Spinner. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. It was staring me right in the face. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. All right. Mm. This is gonna hurt Chen Pao at least. So that did quite a bit of damage to the Ndidi, but more importantly, the weirdness disappears. Now I can liquidation. I am okay. I was regretting for a second that I didn't go for uh, Terra Water, but I'm I'm happy with it now. I am happy with that now. And we have our priority back. Yay! Totally forgot about Ice Spinner. We'll be the first to admit it. Who have we got? Who have we got? And now we have that lead. Except I do need to be a little bit more cautious with my Chen Pao. Because that thing can go down. I don't want that. I feel like the Chi Yu would probably go for some kind of protect if it could. They they don't think that I'm going to attack the Fluttermane, right? Now I'm definitely going to Terra, though. Why? So I want to. Protect. Ooh, withdrawing the Chiyu. And instead bringing out whom? The bundle. Okay, okay. So doing that makes it so the uh, Sucker Punch that could have been going on to the Chiyu or the Aqua Jet that could have been going on to the Chiyu doesn't uh, do all that much damage. It's fine. I'm not targeting it anyway, so I'm happy for that. The Dazzling Gleam is not going to hurt the Azumarill very much. Especially not because the uh, Chi Yu isn't on the field anymore. Yeah, there's a liquidation for the ages. And the next turn, I can still go for the Aqua Jet because I've Ice Spinnered away the weirdness. And unless that thing hits me with a uh, Protect, which it very well could. And you know what? Maybe for that reason, I should switch out. Um, I'm thinking if there's anything wrong with switching into Amoongus right now. I don't think there is. Nah. Just go for the Aqua Jet on this. If I go for the Aqua Jet, then I have to go for Soccer Punch. Assuming one of these guys is going to protect. None of them protected. How much damage is this going to do? Enough. 
More than enough damage. Oh, wow. That thing is so, so good. Freeze Dry on the Azumarill is fine because huge power was enough to take out the uh, take out the Chiyu. And now I can just Sucker Punch until, until the end of eternity here. Oh, we can go for a Moongus. Because why not? I can make my opponent think that I didn't have a Fluttermain, or that I didn't bring the Fluttermain into the game. We're gonna Pollen Puff the Chen Pao. Sucker Pionch. That was a game. That was certainly a game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, this team is great. I'm gonna put the rental code up in the corner right there. Make sure you go and use it. It's a good team. Uh, so again, this was uh, by Discord user Your Conscience. You can go on our Discord and uh, drop a rental code and a pokey paste over in the rental codes channel, uh, and Kevin and I might use it. It's a very interesting team. I didn't get to use Facade on the Dragonite almost at all, uh, mostly because I feel like the the most uh, status that's coming from Pokemon these days are from Gyarados. And Gyarados, when they see a Dragonite, I don't think they're often going to be using Thunder Wave on it because there's been so many Dragonites out there that have been using Lumberry. Um, that like, it's, it's almost like a, I'd rather do damage to it and take it out. Uh, before I before I pair it. But, but, maybe not, right? Maybe uh, this was done in response to getting their Dragonite um, status quite a bit. Entirely could be the case. Um, Fluttermane's really strong. Arcadine was really strong. Chempow and Azumarill really took it home, though. I think uh, the combination of Aqua Jet plus Sword of Ruin plus Terra, Terra Water, uh, was super strong. And I, I really, really respect it. Anyway, go and use this team. I've been Mike. I've been with two Pokemon on the field. It was a lot of fun. See ya.